Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to show how to retrieve folders from Exchange Online using EWS Managed API 2.2 and PowerShell. I have created a function named get-x folder, which has a comment help block here. And it's an advanced function, so you can see the commandlet binding it's decorated. Um, and comes the parameter blocks. In the parameter, I have defined the three parameters named identity, item count, and credential, where the identity is the SMTP address of the mailbox for which we are going to query. It can be yours or it can be others. For that, you need to have impersonated permission in place or you can be a global administrator in Exchange Online. The item count is nothing but the number of items we are trying to retrieve. By default, it's going to retrieve by 10 because we have defined it in the code over here in the line number 57. And next comes the credential parameter. If you're going to use the default credential, that's nothing but the lockdown credentials, you don't want to mention the parameter and the value here. So it's going to check it in the if block. If you have given the credential with some ID, it's going to prompt for the user ID and the password. If not, it's going to use the default credentials. And then we are going to use the impersonated user ID property and then instantiate the same impersonated user ID class. And then the connecting ID type of that will be your SMTP address and the identity parameter value, which you can see it over here. And then I'm going to retrieve the number of items we need to do. Come, let's see how it's going to work. So now I'm going to execute the function get hyphen X folder identity it's my mailbox and for demo and uh, I'm going to use the same as my credential as well because I'm the global administrator and number of items to be retrieved is um, one for an example yeah I'm going to use my uh, credentials as well here i'm going to pass the value and it prompts for the password yes now we are going to query and get the top first folder from my exchange online so if i open up my outlook we don't see that particular folder item over here which you can see yeah you can see it here sorry you can see it in the uh, archive so it's in, in the alphabetical order you can consider that so what happens if I want to take more than one folder information say I want to do for 100 I don't have that but still yeah I'm gonna do so it's going to traverse and get all the information which is underneath the folder that means it's going to get the child folder information as well let's see how it's going to work yeah let's select the display name so that makes it easy for us to read you can see here again uh, the display name property it says archive calendar title and all of this stuff so when it comes to the um, inbox folder let me open up my outlook underneath my inbox I have demo folder and the test folder which you can see it here demo folder and the test folder underneath my deleted items I have child one demo one and the new folder Again, which you can see it here, child one, demo one, and new folder. Cheers. Thanks for watching.